Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very, very exciting. We are playing with some of Becca's new releases, Light Chaser Highlighter, the Lip Crystal Glow Lip Topper, Bronzer, and I came up with this really, really soft monochromatic look. And yeah, if you guys wanna see how I came up with this look and how the products work, well then, please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off and go do my base first. If you guys want to see uh, how I apply my foundation, I do have a foundation routine. I can link it down below, but I'm just going to quickly speed through my base. guys so let's get into some of these Becca products the first thing that I have here is one of the new bronzers so the Becca sunlit bronzers this is in the color bronzed Bondi or Bondi I don't know how to say that I wanted the one lighter than this but it sold out everywhere so I went with this one and this is what it looks like it's the same packaging except instead of silver this part is gold and inside it looks like this doesn't it look very very similar to physicians formula butter bronzer possible dupe I don't know but anyways I'm gonna use this on my eyes as well just because I want to try to use solely the Becca products for this so I'm gonna go in with a crease brush so I'm just gonna lightly put this into my crease I'm not really doing like major crease work here. I just want a little bit of definition. This product is so beautiful as an eyeshadow too. It's such a beautiful like auburn color. Also gonna take that bronzer and put it on my lower lash line. So I am so, so excited about this next product. This is the new highlight, the Light Chaser Highlighter for face and eyes. So I love that you can use it on your eyes and face to get a really pretty monochromatic look if that's what you're going for. I got the color Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. This is the packaging. Isn't that beautiful? Open it up. That's what it looks like. It's the size of their blushes, I guess I would say. That's the inside. It's really, really soft. That's a swatch of it right there on my hand. It's so pretty. So I'm actually just gonna take this on my finger because this is what I've seen a lot of people do. I mean, that is really, really pigmented. You could also wet this with Fix Plus to get it even more intense. So there is the Light Chaser highlight on the eyes. I think it looks really, really pretty. It shifts to different colors in different lighting and the way that you turn your head. So it's just a really different product and so far I really like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that same bronzer and a br why can't I talk? A bronzer brush. Wow, wow. And I am going to take that and lightly just bronze the perimeters of my face. I don't want too much bronzer. I don't want anything to look harsh. I kind of just want the highlight to be like the thing that sticks out. This is actually a really pretty color for bronzer. Kind of happy that I got this one now and not the other one. It's just like a really soft bronzer. It's not matte, but it's not shimmery. 
it's just a very beautiful satin finish. Um, I'm really liking this. So next I'm going to use another new product. I'm so excited about this. This is the NARS Liquid Blush. I got the color Luster because I love the blush, powder blush color in Luster. So this is what it looks like. Of course, it's NARS, so it's going to be beautiful packaging. It's very, very watery, which is kind of scary because I feel like, how will you blend it, you know? But I just want like a really light wash of color on my cheeks. Again, nothing harsh. Don't want to see any lines. This is what the color looks like on my hand. You can see it's very, very runny. Just going to take some on my beauty blender, knock off some of the excess, and just kind of go right here. It's such a soft wash of color, and it gives you kind of like a, a dewy finish. I actually really love this. And I am putting it on top of powder, and it doesn't seem to be breaking up in any way. It's blending beautifully. No joke, you guys, this is literally one of the easiest liquid or cream blushes that I've ever worked with. I really, really like it. I love how it's so subtle, but it just gives you a little bit of glow, a little bit of color. That's very, very, very pretty. Okay, so next we're going to apply that same highlighter onto the face. I'm going to take this Anastasia A23 brush, as always. And like I said, I want the highlighter to be the main focus of this look. So I am going to apply a generous amount. You obviously do not need to do that if you don't want to. Oh my god, look how pretty that is. This is one of the prettiest highlights ever. It's like peach, pink, gold. If you don't like experimenting with your highlight or you don't like crazy highlights that shift colors and do all that stuff, you may not love this, but I think it's pretty for like some occasions. So I'm going to take that and put it on my brow bone very lightly. Okay, you guys, so there is the highlighter. Um... It's so pretty. I really, really like it. Again, if you're going for a more wearable look, I don't know how much you would love this, but oh, I think it's so pretty. Okay, so to finish off, I also have the Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper Glow Gloss, and I have the color Champagne Dream times Bellini. It comes in the same packaging as the highlighter did. And this is what it looks like. Again, this has like a bunch of different shifts. It shifts to so many different colors. Maybe if I can swatch a little bit of it. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the lip topper and then that's the highlight. Let's apply this, shall we? I have a little bit of lip liner left on my lips from earlier, so I'm just going to go on top of that. That is pigmented. Okay, you guys, so this is the lip gloss on. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if it's showing off on camera, but in real life, it's just shifting to a bunch of different colors every time you turn your head and whichever way the light hits it. Um, same thing with the highlighter. I just think that this whole look is so beautiful. It's just like a very, very soft, monochromatic makeup look. And yeah, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and come back for the next one. Bye guys.